Saludos, bienvenido a Invierte con Joy. Mi nombre es Eduardo Joy, inversionista de bienes raíces. Hoy nos encontramos en el hermoso conquistador aquí en Fajardo en una conferencia de inversiones de hoteles. Inversionistas de Estados Unidos están llegando a Puerto Rico a entender cómo es que funciona invertir y comprar hoteles aquí en Puerto Rico. Así que si ellos lo están haciendo, tú también lo tienes que hacer. Aquí estamos con Javier Goico, un inversionista aquí boricua. Javi, bienvenido. Saludos. Saludos, saludos. Mira, Javi. Todo bien, todo bien. Eh, háblame, háblame. ¿Cuál es tu objetivo de venir a esta conferencia y por qué tú entiendes de que la mayoría de las personas son americanas? No hay ni boricua aquí. ¿Por qué? Háblame un poco de eso. Pues, mano, hay, hay múltiples factores realmente. Eh, pienso que es una oportunidad gigante. Obviamente, no tan solo para el americano. Algo que ustedes llevan mencionando mucho, los, los beneficios que trae el Act 60 para el puertorriqueño. Eh, pienso que pues parte de la oportunidad que hay aquí sí está mercadeada para Estados Unidos y somos pocos los boricuas que estamos aquí por lo mismo, poca educación o, o poca difusión de esta información eh, muy valiosa. Aparte de la, la, la oportunidad de lo que es el Act 60, aquí hay muchos, muchos recursos, muchos recursos. Exactamente, eso está lleno de información, tú tienes que estar aquí. Si no estás aquí no te preocupes que nosotros vamos a estar cubriendo el evento, hablando con diferentes inversionistas para proveerte valor y sobre todo para exponerte de que esto está sucediendo. Saludos, pues estamos aquí con Alan. Alan es un inversionista también eh, de hoteles y de multifamiliares mayormente. Sí, multi multifamily. Alan, ¿qué opinas de, de tu estadía de Puerto Rico, de, de, del evento? Háblame un poquito de lo, de lo que tú opinas. So far. Bueno, ha sido una sorpresa. Yo, soy, yo, una, yo, yo viví aquí. Ah, ok. Yo he pasado por los huracanes y todas las cosas que han pasado en, estas, en esta isla. Pero venir ha sido una sorpresa de saber cuánta oportunidad hay en Puerto Rico, especialmente en los hoteles y, y en Airbnb, short term rentals. Eso es algo que o sea, para mis inversores es una opción claro. que le queremos presentar. Que ellos ni sabían que existía. No sabían que existía y, y el acto 60 que ahora estamos aprendiendo yep. es algo que yo voy a traer a la mesa para ellos. Para ellos que Ahí está. Una oportunidad. Gracias, Alan. Seguimos. Eh, Juanqui, ¿cuál es el takeaway ahora mismo que tú le tienes a los boricuas que están viendo esto? ¿Qué tú estás observando con la gente que hay aquí? Bueno, si tú eres un, un boricua que quiere ser parte del cambio, yo te doy permiso de otro puertorriqueño a ti, de que podemos dejar al lado la mentalidad que cogimos de otra persona, de que no queremos que venga gente de afuera a gentrificar Puerto Rico, a invertir en Puerto Rico. Y en vez de verlo de esa forma, ¿qué tal si empezamos a ver de qué forma podemos nosotros unirnos? Porque nunca alguien ha logrado nada significativo solo. Y nunca nadie ha logrado generar dinero sin la ayuda de otro. Así que, ¿qué tal? Si nosotros trabajamos juntos en vez de trabajar separado y para mí ese es como que mi regalo que te quiero dar es que te doy permiso a que puedes dejar atrás esa forma de pensar y tú también puedes participar de esto. Yo soy Carlos Fontán, soy el director de la oficina de incentivos para negociación en Puerto Rico y allí manejamos todos los programas de incentivos de la ley 60, que la ley 60 tiene más de 300 páginas, o sea que son múltiples los programas de incentivos que están disponibles para los puertorriqueños que cualifiquen. Tenemos incentivos de exportación, de manufactura, hotel, energía verde, joven empresario, agricultura, I mean, you name it. De todo hay un poquito. Más de 10.000 puertorriqueños con decretos de exención contributiva y lo que queremos es seguir llevando ese mensaje de que las oportunidades están ahí, los incentivos están ahí, pues para que nos soliciten. Claro, y sabe, como él acaba de decir, hay de todo un poco, o sea, que no necesariamente porque estás comprando eh, real estate o estás haciendo otra cosa, hay... Prácticamente, de, probablemente, si estás haciendo algún tipo de transacción aquí en Puerto Rico, maybe hay una oportunidad para tú aprovechar de uno de estos incentivos. Eh, ¿Cuál fue tu, tu biggest takeaway de tu presentación? Te quedó espectacular, mucha gente ah, haciendo preguntas. Que hay, hay mucho fervor en invertir en Puerto Rico, específicamente en el área de turismo, específicamente en el área de real estate. Y eso es lo que queremos, este, promocionar estos programas de incentivos para que cumplan con sus objetivos, de atraer negocios, de atraer inversión, de crear empleo. Y esa es la finalidad que siempre buscamos. Definitivo. Siempre, como yo digo, Carlos, somos unos fiebrú aquí y agradecemos tu tiempo. Sé que está haciendo par de cositas ahora. Está, está atrasado, pero gracias, chicos. Seguimos. Sí. Ok, estamos aquí con Cherif Medawar. Like, Cherif, él es mentor mío, este, inversionista de bienes raíces, lleva un montón de tiempo. How, how long have you been in Puerto Rico? Oh, 20 years now. So he's been here 20 years, um, enjoying the beautiful island. Of course. My audience are usually people who are beginning. They're trying okay. to start. Okay. Um, they're mostly locals. Yes. Here living in Puerto Rico. 
but you know they they've heard about real estate they're not fully in the business yet yes some advice you can give them quick advice on you know having an, an experienced person who's been oh, through great. you know all the markets and if you purchase different types of, of assets and you have a excellent, lot of experience excellent. what do you tell your students and what you can tell them to you know the key thing if you're in puerto rico and you want to invest here meet up with somebody like eduardo Eduardo Joy has a training program, not just investment programs. He's got a real estate fund filed with the Security and Exchange Commission. Very serious about what he does. He's very experienced, he's got his wife's support, he's got a team with him. And you get to meet him, you get to tour with him various areas, see the projects he's doing. Yeah. And that's the best way to get started. And I work with him as well because we feed off each other and we can make a lot yes. of money together. So today, one of the biggest takeaways that Tariq was talking about and the other guys is, if you want to get started, the first thing you can do is yeah. just partner with Sharif. You know, if you want to own a piece of real estate in Old San Juan, Come you can potentially talk. partner with Sharif, and then he'll teach you, not only you'll, you're going to make money as you invest your money, right, it, it, it generates a return, but you also get to meet Sharif, and, and he can also teach you how to do it. So I think the first step is either, either you partner with an operator like him, or, or like myself or like whoever, but the, but the opportunity is start with someone that can teach you and hold you by your hand. Exactly. That way you're not making that many mistakes. Reduces, and that's exactly what I'm doing with him. Exactly, it reduces your risk. It gives you the whole idea from A to Z how to invest and then you make money on your money. And, tell, and tell me that if you're, if you're a Puerto Rican and you never dreamed, tell me you never dreamed of owning a piece of, of real estate in old San Juan. I know you have and this is, this is your guide to do it. Let's make sure. it happen. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, man. Man, Pace, What's up, you bro? killed the stage. Thank you, man. Um, you're in Puerto Rico. Are you gonna really start making deals here? Not just investing, but like, you know, sub um, no. owner finance. No. Why I, is that? Because I already have my buy box. Right. And so one, I have five buy boxes, and one of those buy boxes is investing in other people. Gotcha. And so I will invest in gotcha. Puerto Rico, but it's for me. If somebody already has a team here, right. I'd rather them just run it and I just invest yes. as a partner. Gotcha. So the answer is yes and no. Correct. The no part is that I won't be buying anything individually gotcha. because I don't have a team to run it here. Got it. So like Jerry or you, like anybody that wants money for a deal, I'll partner with you guys yep. Yeah, all day yeah. long. So basically it's like understanding that this is a great key and this is a golden nugget. It's like, because sometimes I'm like, okay, I want to buy in the States but I'm in Puerto Rico, nope. all my operations is in Puerto Rico. Stay here. So my my opportunity and my leverage is to stay here, get really good at getting deals, raising money here, managing my, my construction company here, and then just like, hey Pace, what do you have? And then just investing with you, yeah. or whoever in the States. This is like what I do with Vina and Jerry and Jamil and other people, I just go, what do you have going on? Here's a hundred grand, here's a hundred grand, here's yep. a, but where does that money come from? Yep. It comes from my buy box, gotcha. I make money, and then I invest in other people's yeah. deals. Man, I, I appreciate that. Thank course, you so much, Pace. Always delivering value. Peace. Hey, mira, aquí <laughs> tiene a Robbie, que es un deal junkie. Tiene todo, todas las propiedades. A Pace, a Christian, okay, fire. Peter, que está por allá. A Javi, que está aquí, que se me puso nervioso. A mí nunca se me pone nervioso I'm conmigo. Nervioso, nervioso, es starstruck, bro. Pero, starstruck. That's like Kobe Bryant. Oh, man. Oh, sabe, él, él no me habla así a mí, pero está bien, sabe, estamos poco a poco. We're here at the hotel convention, people looking to invest in Puerto Rico. You've always been, from the beginning, a pro Puerto Rico, come here and invest, let's get the community up, yeah. let's, let's, let's take these buildings that are abandoned, let's put money in them, let's buy from the local you know, um, shop, let's employ people, let's get this thing. What, what, you know, when you see all these people coming in here, there's probably 300 people. Yeah. You know, what's your reaction, what's your take on it? What are you so thinking? I, so it's amazing because I can remember five and a half years showing up, five and a half years ago showing up. I was the only gringo who was here right. going to auctions and buying yep. things, trying to partner with locals. And then the whole day today, yep. you hear Pace <laughs> Morby saying, hey, best way to get in real estate, find someone in real estate, become part of their deal. Yep. You talk about it all the time on your channel. You know, you've, you've got different levels. You've got operators, you've got You've got first class passengers, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got yep. the, the, the people in the back. Yep. And just that kind of attitude that's here on the right. island, that's what's exciting to me. I love Puerto Rico because of yes. the chance to collaborate with a whole bunch of people that are really sharp like you. And um, so it's exciting to see 
the big guys come in big guys and come talk in. about what we've been validate, talking about Validate now for what you've years. been doing. Yeah, so that's pretty Is cool. it too late for an audience watching at home? The Puerto Ricans, how about this? My channel yeah. is mostly Puerto Ricans. Right. Is it too late for the Puerto Ricans watching at home? Did they miss the boat on Puerto Rico? Not even close. I mean, <laughs> we couldn't do it in a thousand lifetimes okay. if, if we joined forces and, and had a hundred people working for us. There's so much opportunity here in Puerto Rico compared to the states. And that's Correct. why a lot of people who left the island for opportunity like yourself come back to the island now because there is an economy that's growing rapidly. There right. is opportunity here that wasn't here, what, five, six, Correct. eight years ago for yep. sure. Yep, yep. And so now. A few months ago, like, uh, you know, you take uh, like Santurce, yeah. two, 24, 36 months ago, there weren't any, you know, a lot of traffic, a lot of movement there. No. Besides Ciudadela, so like it, it, even with not even years, just a couple months ago, little pockets are yeah. coming up. Right? Your project is a great example yeah. of that. I, I saw Fernandez Juncos as something that I, I kind of knew about. It was, was scary. Like, it was, it was scary. like, I'll go there and invest in five years. Yep. And now that, that was only like, I don't know, that was 18 months ago that I had those thoughts. And now your project and other projects, Very easy. they're all over that area. Yeah. So it, it just changes quickly. Cool. But so it's never too late, right? It's and, never and too late. Still, even even in these areas that we're investing in, there's still every third building needs renovation yep. and needs needs to be revitalized and rethought, right? Like so, it's it's a dilapidated building that's sitting there vacant and right. has no value. Yep. It's kind of a blight on on yes. the neighborhood. So to to repurpose it into whatever its highest and best use is, that's what's fun for me. Right. Is to figure out. You know, one, how do you buy it really well? But then, what's the best thing that it could possibly be? What's the best version of that building, like you're doing with your yes. little hotel on, yeah. on, on uh, and, I, and, and what I love about real estate is it allows two types of people to come in. Someone who wants to passively come in with capital and just get a return on it, yeah. or someone who wants to become an operator and, and, and talk, to the, talk to the real estate guy, talk to the owner, negotiate it, yeah. go through the rehab, do all that stuff. The other thing that I'm gonna say is that maybe you're looking at this video and maybe you relate to me or maybe you relate to Rob, but the, but the thing is there's, there's operators in the island that you can start making deals with. Whether it's Rob, he has a whole bunch of deals. Whether it's me, the cool thing about it is we're all kind of in the same scene and we're all dying to collaborate with each other. Yeah. So real estate is actually a team sport. So if you're watching this at home, you're thinking, oh man, am I too late? These guys are, you know, that's what I, when I look around, I'm like, this, is, this guy's a big player, you know, always making deals, always structuring creative ways to, to make it work. Um, don't, don't get scared of it. Actually, the opposite, come and join, yeah. right? Come, come and, and get on a deal with Rob. Um, be his partner, he'll teach you, I'll teach you, Juan Carlos teach you, Pace teaches you. That's, that's, I, that's what's so cool about this community is you, you have Pace Morby up there, I mean, just spilling it out there, telling you life hacks and, and hacks on becoming a real estate investor. And you got a kid who's in the front of the room, he's never done a deal right, before. Right, yep. He's got $100,000 and the will to come and invest. He might become a great operator or he might just get on board with one of your projects and go along for the ride. But there's something for everybody, right? Yep. So that's what's so cool is if you're out there and you really don't have a lot, real estate's the only place that I know of that you can invest and become wealthy pretty quickly, right? Yep. Like, so you can get into this stuff, follow Pace Morby or, or follow you, or follow you, Jerry. You, yeah. Hear what other people are doing it's not that difficult right yep. this isn't rocket science i like to say it isn't rocket surgery that's fine yeah but this is this is something that you can latch on to and pay said this latch on to someone who's already been doing it yep. find someone who you like and ask them how you can get involved and in it's their crazy deal. how open you guys when i talk about you guys because you've been doing it for so you know you've been doing it for a long time yeah. crazy how you are open or you know your your partners or the whole community is open to collab so don't be afraid, the opposite, come out. Whenever we have an event, whenever we have a gathering, come out, yeah. say hi to Rob, he's, he's really approachable. And, and you know, ask him a question. Like I used to ask him a whole bunch of questions. I still ask him questions about my deals. And uh, the same thing with me, you know, if I don't know the answer, I'll ask him and he'll give me the answer. So yeah. keep watching, keep in tune with the conference. We're gonna keep, we're gonna go now to a little meet and greet and we're gonna keep, you know, interviewing people and, and, and extracting value. So Rob, I appreciate you, man. Always, Thanks, brother. always present. No hay mucho, pero acabo de encontrar un inversionista boricua. Zumba, preséntate, ¿qué haces? ¿De dónde eres? ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí en Puerto Rico? Saludos, Pedro Cardona, inversionista. Hago flips en mi negocio principal. 
Este año vamos para 20 flips, además de propiedad de alquiler, propiedad de Airbnb. Así que eso es un poquito de lo que hacemos acá en Puerto Rico. Oye, para la persona que está viendo esto y que dice, contra, yo no, apenas no he hecho un flip, apenas yo no he comprado una propiedad, apenas yo no he hecho nada con el negocio de real estate, pero me gusta, yo veo a Pedro, yo veo a Juan Carlos, yo veo a Pace, yo veo a esta gente y, y me, me, me intriga, o sea, yo, yo quiero entrar. ¿Qué tú crees que es el primer paso que tú le puedes recomendar a la audiencia que está maybe comenzando, pero, pero no sabe qué hacer? ¿Cuál sería el primer paso? Mano, realmente educarse. Eso fue por lo menos lo primero que yo hice, fue educarme en el área que quiero trabajar. Y entonces buscar personas que son expertos, que son mentores, que me pueden ayudar a cortar mi tiempo de en vez de hacer un deal en cinco años, hacer un deal en un, un año. Contra, pero, pero es que todo el mundo me dice lo mismo. Este, lo que, que me es que quieren es vender, lo que me quieren vender cosas. Es lo que ¿Qué yo otra hice? cosa que no sea vender algo, tú sabes? Es que es lo que yo hice. Eh, y bueno, hay que... otra manera. Ajá. Es añadir valor a una persona que está más arriba, que tú trabajes debajo de ellos y buscar cómo tú contribuir a lo que ellos están haciendo. Por ejemplo, tú tienes tu negocio de flips y, y alguien puede ir donde ti y decirte... ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo te puedo añadir valor? Y a lo mejor tienes algo para decirle, a lo mejor no, pero a lo mejor lo que tú le dices, si esa persona lo hace, y es una manera de yo aprender también, eso es lo que me quieres decir. Claro, claro. Sí, ahora okay. mismo yo tengo, de hecho, un muchacho que fue estudiante mío, que yo hacía un poco de coaching, realmente no es lo que me, me empuja. Bueno, me gusta ayudar a la gente, pero no es lo que hago realmente. Me gusta hacer el film. Y él ahora es mi project manager. Ah, vaya, so, tú, tú tenías una necesidad de personas que te los, manejaran los proyectos, esta persona viene y ahora le está aprendiendo de gratis. Correcto. Y eso es una manera para comenzar. Y no solo eso, ahora en vez de ser parte de dos o tres flips al año, ahora es parte de 20 flips al año y él va a ayudar a, a hacer que eso crezca más. Correcto. Así que contribuye hacia algo más grande, es parte de algo más grande y pues puede ganar más dinero también. Yeah, gracias. Ahí, tremenda idea. Vamos a seguir entrevistando a más personas. Inversionista Boricua, tú tienes las redes, bro. Te pueden seguir en las redes, Pero... te pueden seguir en... Instagram, Facebook, Pedro Cardona, Tenex. Pedro X. Cardona, 10X. ¿Ok? ¿Dónde sacaste el Tenex? Cardona, mano. Ah, el duro, el papá. Gracias, bro. gracias, Pedro. Gracias a ti, Pablo. Seguimos. Uh, yeah, we're here with my man, Zachary. Zachary, what's up? How you doing, sir? Hey, man, biggest takeaway of today. What was your biggest takeaway? Something you can share with the audience. Just how great Puerto Rico, the opportunity that is happening right now in Puerto Rico, and how the message is getting out. I used to think two years ago that I was too late. I was too late to get on the boat. But now it's clear everyone sees the opportunities and we're right on time. You know we're right I mean? on time. Yeah, man. yeah. Perfect time to be, especially if you're a local. If you're a local, you have context, you have language. And now it's just a matter of getting a little bit of info and connecting with the right people who are making moves to then start investing in real estate. All right, that. Zachary, I appreciate you, man. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. What's kind of your biggest takeaway from the conference today of having all these people? There's there's locals, there's people from the States. We're all coming in together. Um, just some, some uh, takeaways from today. Yeah, I guess for me, the biggest thing is seeing that um, there's so much money around you and people that have access to money and finding ways to collaborate all of these people, either doing a fund or fund to fund and making it accessible. So like my fund, we're, we're making it 25,000. Minimum really less than 25K. Yeah, most yeah. funds are minimum 100 or higher. It's, it's, a good, it's a good opportunity for the investor to start getting to know you as well, right? Yeah. Only with 25K, it's not a huge commitment. No, it's, gonna, it's a lot more work, right? Because you're taking smaller amounts, more people. But my hope is that we can grow together so people right. can make money, they can reinvest their, their cash back into deals, do future right. deals, bring a lot more awareness, yep. bring a lot more people. And I, I love kind of the way Paige described it, which was my feeling too, which yep. is, you know, how do I get people that I associate with, my friends, people that are learning from me anyway, and we start doing deals together. Right. And yeah, yeah. investing in a fund, the best way to the do it. The best that. way to do it. You know, you get to make money and learn at the same time. Yeah. So. Um, um, my audience is usually people who shot in out. They're they're mostly all Puerto Ricans. Mostly cool. all local Puerto Ricans. Yeah. What can you say to someone who's starting out is like, man, like I'm looking at Pace, I'm looking at Jerry, I'm looking at Robbie, Robbie I'm looking at all these guys, Juan Carlos, Airbnbs, like I'm I'm being a, like, I don't know what the heck to do. What would be a, a, a first step? that you can you know, tell local folks that uh, they're, they're looking to start? I mean, I think about real estate like there's three things. You gotta have people that can find and underwrite deals, people that can fund deals, and then people that can operate deals. And you might fit in any one of those buckets. Whatever bucket you feel like you might be, either really good at acquisitions, really good at uh, raising money or talking to money, collect, you know, just finance, yep. 
or really technical in the operation side, like managing the process, managing contractors. Process oriented, loves that. Yeah, yep. whatever you kind of resonate with, find people who are doing stuff like you on the island, actively doing stuff, or Robbie, and reach out to them and say, hey, where can I fill a hole here? What value can I bring to you? And it seems like when you can bring something of value to other people, yep. then it instantly launches you into your own deals, yep. your own investing, yep. your own opportunities. Awesome, so hey, listen to Jerry. We just got a free mastermind here. <laughs> Jerry, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for setting this up. <laughs> See you soon. Comencé sin gorra, ahora tengo la gorra de fire. El punto es que la pasamos de show y sobre todo pudimos conocer a otros inversionistas boricua, a otros inversionistas extranjeros que todos están reunidos aquí en El Conquistador con el único enfoque de invertir en bienes raíces en Puerto Rico, específicamente hoteles, ¿ok? Comprar hoteles en Viejo San Juan, comprar hoteles en San Juan, comprar hoteles en la isla, comprar hoteles en el centro de Puerto Rico. Oye, la oportunidad existe, ¿ok? Y si tú estás viendo esto por primera vez, no te preocupes, poco a poco tú puedes comenzar. Tenemos un canal con mucho entrenamiento, tenemos los muchachos, las entrevistas que le hicimos. El objetivo de este contenido es inspirarte a ti latino que estás viendo esto, a darte cuenta de que tú tienes control de tu futuro y que este es el lugar, el tipo de ambiente que tú tienes que estar para poder crecer, no tan solo a nivel de finanzas, pero sino crecer el, y obtener control de lo que tú quieras hacer en tu vida. Mi nombre es Eduardo Joy, inversionista de bienes raíces. Espero que lo hayas disfrutado. Hasta luego.